Hi everyone, my name is James. Welcome back to my series about me building my ICF house. Uh, we are basically, we're at the point where we're ready to put in the roof rafters. And this is going to be a very interesting one because we're going to do a non-traditional way to get those roof rafters up. Um, that being said, let me show you what we've done so far since the last video. Alright, you should be able to see, we got the sill plate in. A little ledge, we got the sill plate in. We got the inside uh, scraps off of the windows and doors, so we're good to go there. Now, if you notice this center beam, very odd looking beam. What is that for? What is that for? I'll tell you. And as you can see, that beam is almost center of the house. We tried to get it pretty center, but it wasn't crucial to get center center. But that beam is to hold the center of the trusses. When we bring the trusses up, they're going to be sitting on each side of the wall, but then the center, they're going to have no support. So this beam right here, this is for that support. This is to keep them nice and level so they don't fall apart, they don't break, we don't have issues. So we're going to get them up and get them in. Now the cool thing we're going to try, this may or may not work, I watched uh, another guy who actually did this and it was very successful. Um, did not use a crane, did not use a boom lift any kind of equipment like that. All they used were ha literally hand cranks. One on each side of the house, dropped down, hooked up to the truss, and literally just cranked it up. It's a very slow process, but it was very, eff not effortless, but it was uh, not very heavy, not very hard. And just, they lifted it up to the roof. Once they got to the roof, they reached down and they grabbed it. They pulled it up, got it on top of the roof. Once it was on the top of the roof, they just slid it all the way down to where they needed to install it. That is my plan, guys. That is my goal, because I'm trying to keep this uh, budget friendly as much as possible. The less I spend on equipment rentals, whatnot, the more I can actually put into building my house. Um, I'm sure you guys know money doesn't grow on trees. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's the plan. Um, if this is successful, I figure it'll save me somewhere between $1,000 and $1,500 of not having to have a crane come out and physically lift these up and set them in place. Um, is it more labor? Yeah, definitely more labor. But it's something I can do myself, um, learn as I go, for sure. Um, and, and it's an experience you just don't get unless you do it. You know, you, you, you can watch people, but unless you actually physically do it, you're not going to truly learn it. And there's a lot of things I have learned since building this house myself that I had no idea. You know, I was clueless. Um, but that being said, uh, we are ready. I have to, I can't do it today because we found out we were missing the parts to readjust the, the crankers. Um, but we got to go ahead, go home do that, get everything set up so we can get out here tomorrow. This is a beautiful, beautiful week to, uh, weather's in the 70s, humidity's low, so much easier to build, guys. We had a crazy amount of rain last week. Um, this week, I have like a whole week of no rain. So we're gonna crank out as much as we can possibly get done. Uh, that being said, um, let, me get, let me go ahead and end it here. I'll show you the, uh, the trusses because we did get the trusses in. They're sitting down there ready to go. And I already pre-cut the, the siding, the, uh, not siding, but the, uh, the OSB for the, si the end caps of the house. We're going to go ahead and put the, once we get the big, the heavier trusses up, we're going to glue and nail those in place up here and then go ahead and set it up in place. Um, but try to alleviate the weight. We decided to not do it down there. We're going to do it up here. Um, but let me said, let me get quick go show you the, um, the trusses and we can go from there. All right, guys, here we go. Here's the trusses. We got the two end ones, a whole bunch of middle ones. One thing I had him do, he offered, and I said, yeah, I'll do it. This little opening here, this will give me a little bit of attic space. Not much. I can crawl up in there, put some storage. But yeah, these are the trusses. These were delivered about a week and a half ago, I think. Yeah, these were delivered about a week and a half ago. And the plan is again, 
on this wall we're gonna put a ratchet strap here and a ratchet strap here and we're gonna slowly ratchet it up to the end and then flip it up on the roof that's the plan
All right, guys, we are at the next day. I, I was gonna do a, an end uh, for the video yesterday, but we were pretty darn exhausted. The heat uh, was only supposed to be like mid 70s, ended up being like 80 plus, and humidity was high, whatnot, we, we were exhausted. But let me just show you real quick everything we got done. All right, we can see we got one just lying there, ready to get set up, but we have three trusses up. We have the end one, we have two, uh, two regular ones, and these have been sitting here just like this all night. So they're nice and secure, they're not going nowhere. Um, we've, we've got a lot of the, uh, the workings on them figured out, how to get them, how to get them up safely, easily, semi-easily. But yeah, that's what we're currently at. Yeah, we still need to raise up a whole bunch more of them. But yeah, that's how much we have done. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Um, today we're going to plan on, I'm hoping we can get about four to five uh, more trusses up and installed. If we can do that, that'd be amazing. Um, if, if we can keep that track, we just have it within three days, we'll have this roof framed, all ready to go. Um, ready for OSB basically and I'm really happy about that again. This is just me and my dad um, 
no power equipment other than hand drills. Um, just using little hand cranks to bring them up on the house. So we're trying to be very uh, thoughtful on this, how we can get this done and get it done safely. That being said, if you like the video, go ahead, do me a favor, click subscribe, give the video a like, leave a comment. Um, I try to reply to all the comments and everything. I do appreciate them. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And that's always, guys. Hope you have an awesome day.